Sidewinder is a new kind of desktop application framework that allows you to turn any web application into a desktop application or gadget. This is the first of three tutorials that will show you how to turn a Popfly mashup into a desktop gadget using Sidewinder. This tutorial will create a Popfly mashup that shows your Facebook friends in a rotating carousel. And then the second tutorial will show different ways to display that gadget on the desktop simply by altering the URL that is used by Sidewinder to load the mashup. The final tutorial will show how to write a few lines of script for Sidewinder to execute that will then control what happens when you select a friend from the rotating carousel. The first thing that you'll need to do is to log in to Popfly at www.popfly.com. If you don't have a Windows Live ID, then click the button marked Sign Up and just follow the instructions to create one. I already have an ID, so I'm going to use that to log in. Once you've logged in, if you don't have Microsoft Silverlight installed, then you'll get various prompts to install it. Now we're ready to create a new project. So click on the Create a Mashup link, and we'll get an empty design surface. Let's close the tutorial to give ourselves a little bit more space. Our application is pretty simple, and we only need two Popfly blocks. The two blocks are the Facebook block, which you'll find in the social network section. And the carousel block, which you'll find in the display section. Facebook has a facility which allows applications that are using uh, interacting with Facebook to remain logged on so that the user doesn't have to log on. And you achieve this by obtaining a special key. So that's what we'll do next. Click on the link that says missing key. And then click on the link that says generate a one-time Facebook code. You'll be asked to log into Facebook if you're not already logged in. And then you'll be asked to click a button that says generate, which will give you a six-digit key. Tip key, paste it into the dialog, click update, and now every time Popfly accesses Facebook, you won't need to log in again. With Popfly, there's no explicit programming involved. Instead, we connect blocks together, passing the output from one block so that it can be used as the input in another block. In the case of the Facebook block, the output will be a set of images, one for each of my friends. And a list of images is exactly what the carousel block wants as its input. To connect the two blocks together, we click on the output bubble of the Facebook block, and then we click on the input bubble of the carousel block. And now, if I do a preview, you'll see that we have a carousel with pictures of my Facebook friends. Let's save that and call it Facebook Carousel. Now that we have a Popfly mashup, we're ready to move on to the second part of the tutorial and show how we can use that mashup to create a desktop application using Sidewinder.